Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Today we will be discussing the Tribal Aero Electrostatic Separator. It charges particles, sorts, and separates in one device. If you've been following along, you understand the importance of particle homogeneity in the tribal charging process. Particles are easier to separate when they have similar charge voltage. This is achieved by having particles within a certain particle size distribution. We discussed this in previous videos and showed an example of a device to achieve this. Some electrostatic separation systems use fluidized beds to achieve charging instead of tubes and cyclones as previously discussed. These beds charge particles and overflow onto plates that separate particles. The problem with these systems are that some particles charge too much and some not enough, resulting in poor separation. A tribal aero electrostatic separator simultaneously charges particles in a fluidized bed and classifies particles using Coulomb and electric image forces. It overcomes the need to sort particles by size because particles rise to the top of the bed based on their mass and charge. Particles that make it to the top of the bed all have similar characteristics and thus should separate evenly. As a particle obtains enough electrical charge, only then are they able to exit the fluidized bed chamber and conveyed by a system of rollers or belts. In this manner, the device charges particles to an optimum state. Otherwise, a particle could not exit the system if it had not attained sufficient charge. This method should, in theory, not only optimize the process, but eliminate sorting and sieving while creating a cleaner concentrate. Sounds brilliant, really. Except... We modeled our tribal aero electrostatic separator similar to the paper cited and failed at the charging stage. Though we did not have electrodes present for the experiment, it is plain to see the agglomeration of particles. This would make any separation impossible. Far too often we see this agglomeration issue making many promising methods unfeasible. What in theory was a no-brainer, in practice was a failure. This has been a recurring theme with this project. Static Tech uses a glove or parchment, is simple and effective, yet scaling the process exposes the complexities involved. In conclusion, much of the research available that is applicable to plastics and mining simply does not translate well to organic matter. Though there are lessons to be learned from prior research, testing is required to develop new methods. I'd like to know if you have any thoughts on why we had these agglomeration issues and what can be done to overcome this. If so, please share in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.